Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Shramana Das and I make videos on higher education in a broad lifestyle in Germany and much more. So, today's video I am shooting from India. So, there can be a problem with the light, I'm not sure, but that's okay. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the recent changes that happened in the uh, application criteria for the MIM program in TUM. So, without any further ado, let's start this video. So first of all, we are going to talk about the entrance requirements of the TUM MIM program. So, basically, in this uh, entrance requirement, there are two stages that is stage one and stage two so first of all there is a basic entrance criteria for at least for you to fulfill that you are eligible to apply in tum mim course so what is that that is basically you have to have a bachelor's degree in either mechanical engineering electrical engineering and information technology civil engineering architecture informatics mathematics and lot more i will put the uh, uh, details in the screenshot and then this, this is basically the change that has been made before when we used to study this, this is the only criteria we had that you need to be an engineer but now for the students of uh, Bangladesh, Pakistan, India, China and Egypt this criteria has been changed you must have a GMAT uh, exam given with a minimum score of 640 please remember only for the students of Pakistan, Bangladesh, India, Egypt and China, you have to have give now GMAT with a score of minimum 640. So if your GMAT is done and if your bachelor's degree is from engineering field, now you can apply for TUM MIM program or else you can't. So these are the changes that has been done. I got a lot of questions regarding it. I think now it's fulfilled. So if you have these things, then you can definitely go for the stage one. If you don't have, it will be straight go to rejection. So there is no point of applying. Now in the stage one, uh, your academic background, that is if your background is from engineering field, then you will get maximum 50 points. After that, your GPA will give you maximum 15 points. So this 15 points will depend on what is your CGPA or GPA. And then your GMAT will give you 10 points, maximum 10 points, yes. So for this particular um, country students, you have to get 640. And then after that, if you have marks more than 640, uh, gradually you will get some points for it but for other countries this is totally fine now this if uh, the total points in the stage one is more than 62 after your gpa your bachelor's degree and your gmat then you will go for acceptance if not then it will straight go to the rejection like if it's 49 or less then it will straight go to rejection if it's 62 or more it will go to acceptance straight away and if you are in between like 49 to 62 you will go to the second stage where your previous academic degree your GPA and the essay will be considered and not your GMAT. So now again the previous academic background will be 50 points, GPA maximum 15 and essay will carry maximum 40 points. Now this essay is not that typical Indian essay we write. It's a scientific essay and Germany is very much a uh, particular about their scientific essay you need to have a research proposal you need to have a proper apa style writing in case you want to write an essay and want to score with your essay please go and check the apa site they have a proper uh, format and rules of how to write a scientific essay i will maybe put the link in the description for the apa after the second stage, if your score is more, more than 80 points, then you will get admission. If it's less than 79, then it will straight go to rejection. So guys, basically, this is the application criteria for the TUM MIM now. So the change that has been done only for the students of some particular countries. Don't ask me the reason. I don't know. I think it's pretty understandable. So yes, so uh, students from India, I know that my maximum viewers are from India. So so right now you have to have a GMAT you can and also of 640 so try to get more than that marks then it will basically give you some more additional points and that will be a big advantage for you 
I will just show you the, how the marks will be given if uh, on the basis of your GPA and on the basis of your GMAT. So here is a, a screenshot I already put. So here you can see that if your German grade is 1, that is almost like 10 in our CGPA, then you will get whole 15 points. If it's 1.1, then 14, 1.2, 30. So this is the way your marks will be given according to your CGPA and for your GMAT. If you score uh, at least 640 then it's zero if you score 650 then one 662 673 and i think the maximum points you can get if you score 710 you can get the whole 10 points here you can again see that it's written that for the students of china bangladesh india egypt you have to have a gmat or else you cannot apply so yes yeah, so these are some of the points that you have to consider and if you have all this then please go and apply for the tuum amam it's a great course so it's a very short video but i hope your everybody's doubt is clear now uh, what's the recent changes that has been made by tuum amam and everything so yeah so i hope you like this video if you like it please do like share subscribe my channel and that's all stay happy stay blessed Bye bye